ice carving rules around the world vary. At the Ice Magic Competition here in beautiful Lake Louise, Alberta, teams can have no more than three members. They've got to use original submitted designs and they must stay on theme. The sculptures must be at least seven feet tall and not more than 13 and a half feet. Total carving time is 34 hours max over three days. Each team gets 15 blocks of Kleinbell sculpting ice at a standard 300 pounds per block. The design must be sculpted on all sides. The only materials allowed are ice and water. Natural snow can be used as a bonding agent as long as it's made from the original allotment of ice that was used in the sculpture. No artificial props, decorations, or coloring of ice. Dan is all the way from Chicago. You're actually the main judge, right? Yes, yeah. sir. You're just part of this like 45 minutes or even probably a little bit less than that. You teach ice carving. I do. Are there countries to look out for? Who's sort of the number one? Definitely the Japanese are the number one team yeah. to, to beat. They're the ones that, that everyone's usually gunning for. They usually lead the pack. Uh, the Canadians are right there and the U.S. are, are hot on the heels. So you've been carving ice for 25, 25 years. Oh, well, I guess that's why you're a judge. So why, why ice? I mean, most people start carving, they want to carve wood. It's a fast medium. Um, I can produce numerous sculptures. How detailed can you get? Like, let's say that somebody comes to you and says, look, guy, uh, you've been commissioned to do an ice sculpture. We want you to put one in the White House. We want President Obama in there. Uh, could you do that? Uh, yeah, I could do that. Most of the top uh, carvers here could reproduce someone in ice. Really? Sure. Mm -hmm. So Dan, have you ever you know, been tempted to go to the other side? Like that? I, I carved wood once and I came back to ice and ice was very jealous. <laughs> and I never went to any other mediums again. Hey listen Dan, good luck. Hey, thank you very but much. But the competition out here looks pretty tough. And I've seen these sculptures, man. They are stunning. Meet Shelly and Les. All right. Now you you come all the way here from New York, it and why is it more. worth it? Tell us. Because of that view, you have Lake Louise, the glacier, the most beautiful place on the face of the earth. All right now, what are your friends thinking about you coming here to New from New York this time of year to Alberta? They think we're crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we should be uh, on the beach in Fort. But Rico you know or, different, right? Because you you've been here a few years. Right? Yes, we have. This is world class, highest level of ice sculptors. All right. Theme this year is what? Magical madness. Yeah, okay, so we've got lots of dragons and, and yeah. spiders and sorcerers, and, sorcerers. Yeah. Wizards. Yeah. and every year is a different theme, yeah. more and more spectacular. You've been, do you've been watching this now for like 10 years, you ever tempted to carve to yourself? A turkey. <laughs> a turkey? <laughs> no, yeah. no, we'll get one, alright. And you know what, here's my challenge to you, New York. Come on and meet Shelly and Les next year. Stop yeah. going down to Florida in the winter. Come on over Pull to Lake Louise. Yeah, that's right. And Join Shelly and Les. The one thing I can be certain of, they are going to be here <laughs> a year from now, standing right here, guaranteed. So you can meet Shelly and Les. Big hand for him again, folks.